Good morning, folks. It is a little after midnight, and it is the day of infamy. The day which we know as 9-11. September 11th, nine years ago, we were attacked by a group of, how should I say, terrorists, terrorists, or some radical terrorists. I, I, can't, I can't put in any more words like that. Anyway, now this happened. Now this attack happened on um, New York, and the actions that they did to our nation were inconceivable, unbelievable, and downright satanic now my take on it is this and like it and I should point this out I never those are one of the two things I never get into I never get into politics I never get into political and I never get into a religion to me it's just not good but my take on 9-11 I've never said this and I'm going to say it. 9-11 is like a, a, a scar that we will continue to feel as long as we know it's there. But, let us also not forget that 9-11 is also a day. A day that we have to remember we, we can rise above all this. We, the people, are like a phoenix. And, of course, the phoenix always rises from its own ashes. Right now, that's what we need to do. We need to stop the hating. We need to stop the killing. We need to get together, regardless of belief, color, sexuality and all that it needs to be said we've been so wrapped up in conflict far too long and our true enemy attacks us when we're not even looking it's like being at school and you don't realize you have your pants down until until you have half to the whole student body laughing at you. So, that's that's pretty much all I can say. That That's pretty much the best uh, similarity I can think of. Best metaphor, similarity, whatever. It's a, it's a lot to say. Anyway, I do have more to say. I, I do have more to say about it. Now, out of out of everything I've seen over on YouTube, you know I've seen videos, I've seen fa I've seen so-called facts and figures about what happened on on that day, and you know whatever it is, however you say it, it happened. All the facts and figures don't mean a hill of beans. It happened. We suffered, but now the suffering has to end. It has to end on a note in which I think should be noted. We must get together. We must put aside all differences. All kinds of feelings, whatever they are, whatever your belief is, we need to put aside all that. I don't think God would want his people of all of all colors and flavors of the rainbow to actually squabble like this. It's petty. Yeah, it's petty. It's petty and it's sad. And we of all people, we're the human race. We 
are the future of this world. We need to stop with the complaining, the bitching, the the constant what the, the the constant questioning I shouldn't say what the constant questioning what should we do how can we prevent this how why did this happen and all this mess what we need is unity stop asking the questions start helping do something stop questioning well what is what is the president doing? The president is doing what he's supposed to do. That's another thing. Stop bitching about him. He's not dumb. Although, some people might find it stupid that, oh, he's black. So, at least he's man enough to tell us, yeah, we're going through something and we need to get over it. We need to get over this hump. We need to be defenders. We don't need to be, you know, chickens with our heads cut off. No, no, we don't need to be that. What we do need is that simple promise that, A, everything is going to be all right. We can rise above this. We know how to handle this. And that's my point. We need to rise above all, all the hardships. We've done it before. We can do it again. Although it is a hard pill to swallow that, yeah, this day is going to hurt us. But you know what? It doesn't hurt me. Yeah. I, have, I had a time going through 9-11. I wrote stories about it. Hey, I'm a writer. It's what I do. I, I've I've seen comic books about it, and you know, the funny thing is, hey, even if you're a superhero, you can't stop the un the inevitable from happening, because you could be a second too late, and you know, might be all over. But to those who are listening, I have to say, we got to stand up. We got to stick together. Band together. And simply put, we can't let something like this happen ever again. Yes, our enemies should pay, and they will pay with a heavy price. But know this, know this, we shall stand. We'll be the underdogs who can take a licking from the worst beatings ever known, rise up and clearly knock the hell out of our opponents, whoever they are, whatever they are. The flame burns brightest in the face of adversity. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be burning. And this nation, this country, we need to burn. We need to let our fighting spirit be known that you can't do this to us and we won't let you do this to us. That's the reason why I brought out the only picture that could give me or anybody who comes to my channel and visits this and notices this is why I picked out Common Rider. Because in the worst, in the worst shape, 
if a man can still fight with a stick and manage to flabbergast his opponent by just his spirit alone, then half of the battle is won. I don't think I have any more to say about this date other than to live and learn each to our own fate. And may the hand of God be with us all. I'm Pookie Izzy 7. Let's be friends and let's all be united.